Eat, sleep, bet, repeat. That's how we get down on the opening line at EliteSportsBetting.com. I'll be your host, Benny Ricciardi, and today we're going we're gonna to do something a little different today. We're going to have a little bit of fun here on draft day. I know both of you guys are going to be on the draft show. You know what? Let me introduce you first. What the fuck am I even doing here this morning? <laughs> I, I got my boys here from Fantasy Guru site, Armando Marsal and Tyler Beaker. What's up today, boys? Draft day, man. Excited. <laughs> it's finally here. You know, I, we were joking about it, but honestly, like, every other day, I kind of, like, do a little show here, maybe write a little article or something. And then normally at, like, 7, 8 o'clock, you get the kids to bed, and you sit down, and you start watching games and all that. But we obviously haven't had that for, like, a month, so it's kind of just, like, by, like, 6 or 7 o'clock, I'm kind of like, all right, I got nothing to do now for the rest of the day. Like, we watch a little bit of Netflix. We actually have something to do today. I'm, like, I'm like so excited mm-hmm. here. You know, <laughs> this I know is like that- therapy. <laughs> exactly. It's like the best league ever at this point in time. Um, now, I know both of you guys are going to be on the show later on today. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, we're going to be right, so when do you want to just kind of let everybody know what's going on there in case they want to uh, tune in and watch some of the draft coverage that we're going to have? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, – starting from – it's from 8 to 11 today. Tomorrow we're going to be running from 7 to 10. Uh, it's going to be free, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Tyler? It's going to be free, free – uh, yeah, I believe there's going to be a link through FanLink Sports. Yeah, it's going to be a link through FanLink Sports, and it's going to be Tyler, myself, Russell Clay, Jeff Mant, uh, Mike Dempsey, and we're going to have guests on pretty much coming in and out uh, of the live stream. So mm-hmm. we're going to be covering the entire thing, man. It should be fun. I'm super pumped about it. I, I know Russell sent a, a text last night super late saying how excited <laughs> yeah. he was, man. So I was like, I reply, I was still up. Like Betty said, we stay up late, man. Uh, and I reply, man, I'm pumped. Uh, something, something to look forward to today, man. It's, it's been rough not watching sports at night, man. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to – I know you guys are going to get into a lot of this stuff a little bit later on here today when we talk about the draft show. Make sure you guys follow us. You can find that over at fanlink.com when it comes on here tonight. But what I wanted to do today is um, kind of play a little game, have a little bit of fun here. You know, it's a, it's a Thursday morning. I'm a little hungover from last night because I was sitting around by myself <laughs> doing nothing but, you know, getting fucked up. But um, basically what we're going to do is our uh, partner over at Monkey Knife Fight, they're offering a little bit of a, a way for people to make a little bit of free money here. They have a bunch of questions that they threw out there about the draft. You go through them all, you answer them. Whoever gets the most right is going to get some free cash. So if you guys haven't signed up yet, make sure you go over to Monkey Knife Fight and sign up for an account. If you use promo code ELITE on your first deposit, they'll even give you a 100% deposit bonus, I think up to like $50 or so. Currently right now, normally they're offering every single sport that's out there. Currently right now, like everybody else basically in the fantasy industry, you're looking at like eNASCAR and you know, LOL and, and, and uh, Counter-Strike. Maybe they'll have Call of Duty at the end of the week too. Um, but one of the things that they're also offering is this, this free draft contest. So make sure you go over to their Twitter page at Monkey Knife Fight at MKF. Um, you'll be able to see that there. You click on the link, you sign up for an account, you use promo code ELITE. You answer these questions that we're about to answer for you here, and you can win some money tonight. So you guys ready to play? You want to get into this? Yeah, let's rock and roll. All right, so here we go. I'm going to throw the questions out. Um, I'll start with Armando, and then we'll let Tyler go first the next time, and we'll just go back and forth through, through all of them to see. So the first question, Armando, we'll start with you. And you know what? We kind of talked about this a little bit yesterday. Which pick do you think Tua Tagliavola – I don't even know how to say that last name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher it the whole day. <laughs> but what pick do you think Tua will be in the draft? Now, the number they give us is five and a half over or under. Or they call it more or less, actually. So does Tua go before five and a half or after five and a half? I think it goes before, man. Uh, I think it could go both ways. But I think if we're, if we're putting our money in, we have to say before. All right. Tyler, how about you? I agree. Uh, I just did a mock draft over on FanLink Sports, and I have the Chargers trading up to the number three spot with Detroit. And I think at that spot, the Chargers take Tua. All right. So now let me ask you the second part of this question, then, which might be different based on both of your answers here. The second part of this question is Justin Herbert. Will he be drafted five and a half before or after? So, Tyler, we'll start with you on this. Uh, I'm going to go the under there at five exactly. Uh, I think the Dolphins select him there, that pick, and we've just seen so many ties and connections there. It just seems almost inevitable at this point. Uh, it's one of the safer bets I think you can make at this point. All right. Um, Armando, how about you? 
Uh, I, I'm indifferent here, honestly. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tyler just because that that's what it's pointing to. But I I just I think the Dolphins might go a different direction here. Well, I, I mean, and there's that's also fine. the other there's also the other question we're thinking about here too. It's like, all right, let's say the Dolphins go a different direction. Let's say Detroit doesn't trade that pick. The first, you know, the second quarterback off the board might not go until the Chargers if they have to sit at six, which could make Correct. either one of these guys an over if that's the way that it works out. So. A lot of moving pieces that need to happen to see which way it goes there. But that's what our guys think for the first two questions here. Here's one that I went on the over with because I am not sold on this guy overall, but maybe somebody else is. What pick will Jordan Love be drafted? Over or under 20 and a half? Armando, you go first. I'm going to go with the over here. Over? That's what I, that's what I picked too. Tyler, I see you not in your head. You, you in agreeance there? Yeah, I'm agreeing. I think they have that 20 line just because that's where Jacksonville is making their second pick. And there's mm-hmm. a possible chance that they try to move on from Gardner Minshew. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they do that. I think the over at 20.5 is a good bet here. Yeah, I'm all about Minshew mania. Why, why yeah, was- hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun last year. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's the next one. Um, I, I'm just going to skip this one question here. Will, will Judy still be a first-round pick? I mean, I mean. I am, yeah, I, to me, that's, that's an absolute lock. Like, I know people are a little concerned. Oh, the knee. The guy played two whole seasons on the knee and, you know, basically had like 2,000 yards and, and a whole bunch of catches and touchdowns. So I don't really see how that's really going to change anything for me. I think it's kind of just somebody blowing smoke, hoping he drops to him and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to throw a little smoke screen over there. Uh, so let's move on to the next set of questions here. How many defensive backs do you think will be taken in the first round? This number is a little high for me. Six and a half. I went the under on this one. Um, Tyler, what are you looking at there for defensive backs? Six and a half. I think like these back five teams could really screw up this bet. Uh, I'd hit the over here just because I think we could see a team like the Titans and the Chiefs at the very back end Mm -hmm. grab some cornerback help. Uh, I think the Jaguars at 20 could grab uh, a safety. We could see – uh, the Vikings grab a cornerback. I wouldn't be surprised if Seattle or uh, New England did. Um, th- there's just so many opportunities for different teams in the back half of the draft to pick up defensive backs. I, I have seven going in the mock that I did, and I- it's a good number, 6.5. All right, Armando, how about you? Yeah, I have between six and eight going, so I'm going to hit the over here as well just because two of, of the numbers are-, are the over for me. Uh, I see a couple going really early in the draft, and then, like Tyler mentioned, you know, there's going to be a couple of teams here late in the draft that could go uh, safety or cornerback. I have a good question, but I think it's actually one of the questions they're going to ask. So we'll wait till we get there to discuss this. All right. So you guys both like the over on defensive backs at six and a half. I kind of like the under on that one. Defensive lineman taken in the first round. The number is five and a half. Um, Armando, we'll start with you this time. Over or uh, under five and a half D line? I, I have five going. So I'm going to go under here. Under? Potentially Tyler, five. Tyler, I see you shaking your head. You in agreeance? Yep, exact same number five. Yeah, two defensive tackles, and I think we have three potential edge players. Yep. All right, so we like the under on that one. That's the way that I went on that one, too. Um, oop, I just lost my page there. Okay, the next one, three and a half number of linebackers taken in the first round. Tyler, we'll start with you. What are you thinking, over or under? Under here. I think there's only two legit options, Patrick Queen and Kenneth Murray. Um, Armando, how about you? I'm going to go under here as well. I have, I have three potentially going, so it's three and a half, right? So can't, can't go over. All right, so you guys both like the under on the, on the bottom two as well. So you're probably going to like the under on this next question too. Is number of defensive <laughs> players in the first round at 15 and a half. When you both went over on D-backs, I was like, oh, man, maybe we're going to have to have a, a little more of a discussion here. But we talked yesterday about three or four quarterbacks we think are going to go in the first round. We talked about six to eight wide receivers we think are going to go in the first round, five or six uh, offensive linemen going in the first round. You just take all those numbers that I mentioned right there. You're talking 15 to 17 guys right there. There's 32 picks in the first round. So basically the question is, do you think we're going to have 16 defensive players drafted in the first round of this draft? Because 15 and a half is the number. Armando, I'll start with you. 15 and a half. (laughs) Taking the under. I'm taking the under. Taking the under, Tyler? Yeah. Yep, under as well. It, it's not – we're just not getting enough of people there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's only 32 picks, and we keep talking about all these other guys, especially on the offensive side of the football, that are going to get drafted. 
the numbers just don't work out to get 16 or more on, uh, on the defensive side. So I'm in agreement. I'm in the under there. Ooh, excuse me. So the last question I have here for defense, we'll start with you, Tyler. Will we get a defensive tackle drafted in the first round? Yes, I think we'll get two. We have Derek Brown from Auburn, and we have Javon Kinlaw from uh, South Carolina. Two guys I think potentially could go in the top ten. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm considering Brown a top ten pick, so that's why I had to double check, make sure that they consider him a defensive tackle, because otherwise I don't understand his question. It seemed too easy to me. Yeah, I think it was just a freebie to try to get the other ones. <laughs> like uh, the other ones seem a little just more like difficult. Duty, this is just like yeah. the duty question. Yeah, they, they, needed, like the duty. yeah they needed five <laughs> questions in each category. That's what, that's what it's all about. And I saw you shaking your head, so. I assume you agree with that as well, right, Amanda? Yeah, 100%. I think Brown's one of the best players in this draft, actually. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> like you said, he should be a top 10 pick. All right, so let's go on to um, – they have some stuff here with some of the teams. So these are kind of interesting. Um, over, under, on the number of Alabama players drafted in the first round is five and a half. <laughs> um, so I don't know who we on right now. Does it matter? Uh, I'll does, jump in it, here. Yeah, <laughs> right, Tyler, I think, I think we're going to have the same answer. Half, over or under? Uh, I'm hitting the over here, but I think the swing player is going to be Trevon Diggs, that cornerback for Alabama. And if he goes in the first round, I think that's going to be the uh, final sixth guy that uh, makes that over hit. Okay. Armando, same thing? Yeah, over as well. Yeah. We talked about this yesterday as well. (laughs) We're going to switch gears a little bit here. A question we kind of talked about yesterday between Alabama and LSU. LSU, five and a half players in the first round. Same thing. Um, Armando, any, any thoughts on that one? I'm going the over here as well. <laughs> over on LSU, Tyler? Yeah. Uh, I'm hitting the under. I have five players for LSU going. Uh, wow. That's a good line, too, 5.5. So that's a, I was just about to say that's a really good number then. And also the line they had yesterday, which was, um, I think it was Alabama, one and a half. One and a half more players than LSU drafted in the first round yesterday. So based on what you guys are saying here, you'd probably both hit LSU on that one then, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I just have – I have six, let me see, six. Actually, no, I, no, I have five exactly, actually. You're right. Five? I have it right here. Yeah, you're right. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, under here. I have five exactly. Wow. I thought I had six. So, but five from LSU and six from Alabama, that's plus one and a half. You're still going to hit the LSU side on that one. Right? Yeah. So, you both, you both kind of have it that way, six and five, probably? All right, I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do actually have five. So, yeah, I'm going – it's five and a half. So, I'm going under LSU over Alabama. But – I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if it does hit the over here because you, you just don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going under, though, because I have five. So LSU plus one and a half is interesting. LSU under, Alabama over. Six and five, right around that five and a half number is what the guys like here. All right, so how about Auburn players taken in the first round? Two and a half is the over on Auburn players in the first round. Tyler, what are you thinking? Uh, the under. I think Derek Brown's the only Auburn player that goes. I have the under on that one, too. Armando, same with you? Uh, yeah, I have under. I have two exactly uh, that All potentially right. can go. So, Armando, we'll start with you this time. Let's go back to Clemson players. Two and a half over under on Clemson players. Um, I'd go uh, – I, I have three to four, so over. You have an over on that one? Tyler, you? Oh, I'm hitting the under here. I just have Isaiah Simmons as a first-rounder. I have, I have A.G. Terrell also as a potential late. Okay. Yeah, he could definitely be a cornerback that hits that back end. Yeah, like if we're going, if we're going, you know, secondary here towards the end too. All right, so we got two Clemson players, so then we should be looking at the under on two and a half, right? Is it two? Oh, sorry, two and a half. Sorry, yes, under, under. I got two, two, two and a half Clemson. I'm just trying to write these all down as you say them, so we see how good we do on this. And if everybody else out there makes a whole bunch of money, um, you know, we'll throw our Venmos up for the next one and we can get a little <laughs> bit of that back. <laughs> All right, so last one here, Oklahoma players. Um, Tyler, we'll start with you on this one. Oklahoma players, first round, two and a half. All right, I know the smart money is to go on the under here, but I went with over because I think there's a realistic shot that a team trades up for Jalen Hurts at the end of the first round pick. Trying to get that fifth-year option on a quarterback, it's just so much better to have a roster where you don't spend a boatload of money on a quarterback and you can get him on that rookie contract for an extra year. I think we could see a team slide up, similar to what Baltimore did last year, getting uh, two years ago, getting Lamar Jackson at the back end of round one. I think we could see a similar outcome with uh, Jalen Hurts. Do you think Punk. Hurts? Do you think Hurts goes before Love? Uh, I have Love going in the first round as well. I actually have five quarterbacks going in the first round. I just think 
This is going to be my next question here. Yeah, yeah j- just the way the NFL is structured right now, getting these guys on bargain bin rookie contracts is just such a huge advantage. Not going to argue with you. I've been a big proponent of a long time for, uh, you know, getting the chief rookie quarterback and, uh, you know, building around them. Those, those seem to be the teams that do better nowadays than the ones that mm-hmm. are spending, you know, $100 million on Jared Goff's. Yeah. Um, so how about you, Armando? What are you thinking about their um, Oklahoma players first round? Do you think that goes over two and a half or not? I got under here. I got exactly two going. Okay. I, which, is, which is the way I picked the under two when I did this yesterday. So that actually makes a lot of sense to me. I didn't even realize we do have a second page of these as well. So let's go rapid fire through these here. Um, Big 10, over under five and a half. Armando? Um, I want to say under. Under? Tyler? Agree, under. I had four. All right, so under on the Big Ten. SEC players, 15 and a half. Now, remember, you guys already have 11 between LSU and Alabama here. So can we get four more players – or actually, I'm sorry, 15 and a half. So can we get five more players not on Alabama and LSU to be drafted in the first round? I think so. Uh, I got the over here. Over for uh, Armando, Tyler? I took the under. I have 15 exactly. <laughs> I do think it's going to be one of those that comes down to like the last two picks. You're kind of sweating it out if you right. have money on this, uh, on this question here. Uh, number of players from the Big 12, over or under three and a half? I'm going to go with over here. I got five total going. I think that's a good over. Yeah, I took the over on that one as well. Um, ACC, three and a half. I think a lot of this depends on how you answered some of the other questions too. Like if you had Clemson yeah. over here, you're probably going to be over. I had Clemson under, I have ACC under here, but what are you guys looking at? Under as well. Agree with you there. Yeah. Armando? Yeah. The, the under makes sense. Pac-12 over two and a half. I took the under. I only have one Pac-12 guy going. <coughs> yeah. Armando, same for you. All right. Under. There, yeah. there we go. That kind of levels everything out for the, uh, the questions on the, you know, the different conferences here. So last couple questions that we have here, a lot of this stuff was stuff that we kind of talked about yesterday with the betting, uh, you know, the betting package, but you know what, let's throw it out there. So anybody watching the video can get a little bit of uh, an idea about it too. Number of quarterbacks taken in the first round. Armando, we'll start with you <laughs> over or under three and a half. Uh, over. Tyler, I'm assuming you're over because you said you think it could actually. Even five, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's more of a bold take than a realistic betting one, but I think four is a good number for the anticipated I think four number. Four is a realistic. Number. I mean, really, the yeah. question the question comes down to: Do you think Jordan Love or, or Jalen Hurts winds up going towards the back of the first round? Because we know there's going to be three of them up front somewhere there. You know, most likely. Um, you know, maybe the the whole Herbert thing is a little bit of a smokescreen, but. I still think he winds up going in the top 15 to 20 picks anyway. So really it comes down to, do you think Jalen, um, you know, do you think love or hurts winds up going towards the back end of the first round? If you do, then we get over that three and a half there. Uh, number of wide receivers taken in the first round, the number's five and a half, which I thought was a little low. So I went over here, but um, Tyler, I see you shaking your head. Armando, you're shaking your head too. Everybody going yeah. over the five and a half here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We talked about this yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We said yesterday, like there's four guys that are pretty much a lock in the top 20, 21 picks. Yeah. So really you just got to see how those last 10 or 12 picks of the round work out. If we can get two of those guys in there and what is arguably one of the strongest wide receiver drafts in a long time, you know, five and a half was the number that we said was, one that we lean to the over six and a half is the one where we're like, yeah, I don't know, because it could wind up at six and go under, but I do think we're going to see six. So I like the over here too. Number of offensive linemen taken in the first round. This is a good one. Five and a half is the number, which I think is, is a really good number. To me, there's going to be four of them are a lock. And I definitely think we get at least a fifth. So this is actually a little bit on the shady side here, whether or not we get over that fifth and get to that six. What are you guys thinking? Armando, we'll start with you here. I'm going to go under here because I'm a 100% in agreement with you. I think five is that magic number. I think there's four that are locked, and then you got one that usually one team that usually will take another offensive line. But, man, uh, that, yeah, under. Tyler, under. same for you. Uh, I'm going to hit the over here. I think we have that top four group of tackles as like a, their own tier kind of. And then I okay. think – uh, we'll probably see all those guys go top 15 and then a top tackle, probably number 18 to the dolphins. I think protecting a quarterback, if they invest one at pick number five, makes a lot of sense. 
-hmm. And then I just see one of these back end teams, like, like maybe the Seahawks or the Ravens or possibly the Saints with a luxury pick. Uh, a lot of them are, are in the mix for like a, an offensive tackle. I think we could see six go. Yeah, I think five is definitely a lot. I think this is a really good number. Um, again, though, when you start adding up a lot of the stuff that we've said here, we're going to get four quarterbacks and we're going to get six wide receivers and we're going to get six offensive linemen. That's 16 picks right there. And we haven't even talked about, you know, any of the other positions that come out there, although they're probably not going to be a tight end, probably not going to be a running back in the first round, especially <laughs> if you think that these other numbers are coming there. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be close there. Um, and those are actually the next two questions here to end it off. Do you think a running back will be drafted in the first round? Yes or no? Yes for me. No. No for Tyler. Yes for Armando. I think we all agree if it does happen, it's going to be like pick 25 to 32, somebody towards the yeah. back end there grabbing one. Um, and here's one that I have a, a hard no on. Will there be a tight end in the first round of this draft? No. No. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure those odds are like minus 650 or something. I was going to say, it's actually a big number that, uh, yeah. you know, that one – you can get like a very big number that one will be drafted in the first round here. There just isn't that kind of talent this year. There isn't that guy that just kind of like jumped off the page athletically or jumped off the page with amazing like, you know, numbers in college or anything like that. There may be a couple tight ends drafted, third, fourth, fifth round there, but nobody that's really a, a first-round talent. So that's pretty much it. That wraps it up. All the questions that they had. Remember, you guys can go over to monkeyknifefight.com, uh, use promo code ELITE, sign up for an account, play for some regular money. You guys win. Make sure to give a shout-out to my boys, Armando and Tyler here. I'll give you their Venmos. You can send some money over to them. <laughs> It'll be fine. They'll be good with that right there. More importantly, though, make sure you guys tune in over on FanLink tonight. You're going to have these two beautiful faces here along with, uh, you know, Jeff Manns and Russell Clay. And, you know, we got some guests coming on where, you know, I'll probably hop on there to scream about the Jets pick like I normally do because <laughs> I know what Jets fans do and, you know, stuff like that happens. Um, but it should be a good time. We actually have something. We'll be able to watch some sports highlights tonight as well as something that relates to sports. And the good thing for us who are sitting around here wondering what the hell we're going to do with the next couple of weeks of our life we can really start getting into a lot of this NFL draft prep stuff as we do. So make sure you get over to fantasyguru.com. You get all the work that these two guys are doing, not only pre-draft stuff, but after tomorrow, we're going to go into the pre-fantasy draft stuff and, uh, you know, start getting a little bit deeper into there. So make sure you guys sign up. Make sure you have some fun. Anything you guys want to add before we sign off here? No, you nailed it there. Check yeah. us out tonight. We're excited yeah. for it. We've been prepping for it for a long time now. Uh, just can't wait for the draft to occur now. All right, fair enough. For Armando and Tyler, this is Benny signing off for another episode of The Opening Line at EliteSportsBetting.com.